Welcome to my channel, my name is Jared. This is another Sunday update video. I also post silent build videos on most Wednesdays and Fridays, so be sure to check those out as well. Today we're going to talk about the Land Cruiser, a little bit about the 356, and then about the Model T. Okay, so the Land Cruiser. Um, if you saw my last build video, you would have seen that I've started working on this quarter panel. Um, I ordered this panel, I believe it came from eBay. Um, I got panels from all different places. Um, overall, the quality of the panel is pretty good. Um, I'm not that thrilled with how some of these edges um, are currently on the panel. It's not really a rolled bent edge, it's like a welded edge. Uh, and it's not really straight. So I'm gonna have to do some work on that area. And I'm also gonna have to kind of reshape this. I'm not really very happy with the way that that is shaped um, from the factory. But other than that, it fit well. I cut it right along here, which is perfect. I mean, they have this height at just the right spot because that cuts directly on um, the surface of this. So it's not open back here. It's, it's directly in the middle of this section. So it's perfect. It's a great place to weld it. Um, I originally had planned on kind of cutting this weird pattern and trying to keep the original metal that had these openings so I didn't have to worry about getting them in the wrong place. Um, but if you watched that video, you would have seen what I actually did. Um, I kind of worked my way up to it. I removed the metal in this area, but I kept the metal here. So I had these locations and then I used the inner piece so I used this inner piece on that side as a template. And then I was able to cut these shapes to match. I will still need to get those little metal strips and kind of tack them on here. So it has a solid area to screw into. Um, but they came out really good. The locations are good. The shape is really good. So I'm happy with that. Um, the next step for this one is going to be replacing this lower section. So, over here you can see I've got this whole structural support that goes behind the body and then this piece goes over it. So, once I get that structural support in here, then I can really make sure that these are lined up where I want them. And I can get that piece over and get this all kind of squared up where it's supposed to be. And then uh, I can do the final adjustments on this the inner fender well, and then also this um, outer quarter panel. But I'm pretty happy with the way it's coming out. I do still plan on basically just patching uh, this side, this quarter panel. This side has more supports and more holes and things in it than that side does. So it has, it has this kind of structural area here that's going to hold the tire carrier. Um, so it has those holes in addition to all these holes here for the tailgate. Um, and then also it still has the same light hole, but then it has that gas filler cut out. So I really don't want to replace this whole panel. Plus this lower edge actually looks better than that new panel does. Um, so there's less work there to do. But so hopefully I'm going to be able to just patch this and then I'll patch this area where the, the rust is and clean it all up and I think it's it's gonna come out okay. Um, but so yeah, so that's that. Once the rear section is done, then I still have to do the uh, rocker panels on both sides. I also have some patches to do on the floor, so there's still quite a bit more to do. But the quarter panel is coming out really good. Uh, I'm happy with it, I'm making good progress. Um, so that's all good. Now the 356 um, obviously is not in the garage right now. I'm still waiting on the windshield and I need the windshield to get the roof exactly where it's supposed to be and then I can start putting in all the other glass, the rear window, the door frames, all that stuff. So um, hopefully the 356 will be back in here soon, but until then I'm going to get as much done on the Land Cruiser body as I can. And even once the 356 comes back in, um, it's going to be going in and out a lot. Um, so I'll probably do a video on it and then take it out, do a video on the Land Cruiser bring the 356 back in, do a video. So it'll be going in and out a lot because um, I really need to get this thing painted and back on the frame. But so, that's the Land Cruiser, that's the 356. 
we'll talk about the Model T. Okay, so if you saw my last um, build video on the Model T, you would have seen that I pulled the engine out of it. Um, that went pretty well. There were a few things I had to like, I had to cut the bolts off of the radiator here. Um, and because of the, the way that the engine is, I had to kind of tilt it up to get it to come out with the pedals um, on it. But so, so these bolts, you can see there's kind of a spring system so that the radiator can kind of move around a little bit. And so there's just this end on it and that thing would just spin and it was really difficult to get to so I just cut them off. But you can buy the hardware for this. I've already ordered it. It's really cheap. Um, I also have ordered all the electrical wire for it, which, you know, there's not a lot. But um, so, you know, I just cut all these wires when I was taking the headlights off because they're all going to be replaced. And I have a wire diagram anyways. And it's a really simple diagram. Um, but so while the engine is out, I'm going to be painting the frame. I'm going to paint the firewall. I'm going to pull the front end off, clean it up, paint it. I've got to replace some bushings. You can see this one is like completely gone. Um, I've got to try to figure out this speedometer gear seems to be wooden. And so I'm going to have to see if maybe I can order a new one or maybe I have to make one or something. We'll see. Um, but so I'm going to do some work on this whole area while the engine's out. Um, but the next build video for this one is going to be tearing into the engine. So, I've got it over here, I've decreased it a little bit, uh, I'll continue to clean it up as I kind of take it apart. Um, but so the plan is to take it all apart, well more or less, I mean I'm going to pull the head. This is called um, uh, the hog's head I believe it's what it's called. Anyway, so I'll be taking this cover off to get to the transmission. Um, I'll be pulling the head off. The intake exhaust, manifold, all that stuff. I may pull the engine from the oil pan, I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna basically replace all the gaskets, clean everything up, inspect it um, inside, you know, like the cylinder walls, the pistons rings, stuff like that, make sure everything looks good, and then paint it and put it all back together with new seals, and I'm sure it should run. Um, I don't plan on doing any kind of overhaul unless I see some major issue, like a broken ring or something. Um, these engines are built pretty tough and there's a good chance it would have ran as it is um, but it'll be fun to kind of tear into it and see how it works and get it all cleaned up uh, and ready to go back in the car so that'll be the next video on this one um, and then of course the mini is just sitting over there no work to that um, but yeah so that's pretty much it for the Model T that's it for the Land Cruiser and the 356. So I guess that's it for this week, guys. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing.